cooking with Gaspar. Today, I started the chicken stock. I want to show you how I do my chicken stock because I will do later on, I do a, a lobster, uh, uh, a bisque, uh, um, a soup. So I needed the chicken stock. So I want to show you how I do my chicken stock. I have a chicken bones here. I pre-blanch the chicken uh, bones. That mean, let them boil up, take it down, and then change the water. And I add it up here. i tell you what I add all. I added celery, I added carrot, I have um, shallot, I have um, whole garlic, half. You can see it here, somewhere. So that's in the chicken bones, you can see that one. So it's very clear on, I just can't find the, the garlic, but it's inside the garlic. It's inside, I cut the whole head of the garlic, half and put it inside. And so now you cook it uh, probably about 45 minutes on the low temperature and add a, a little bit salt, pepper. And if you want to put a, a flavor, food, not flavor, color for that one, then you cut in half onion, regular onion, small one, put it in pan, no oil, just very hot, roast it up a little bit, brown it up and put it inside, and that one will give a color for your chicken stock. I don't need it a color this time, but I can show you also how to do that one. So I found the onion, right, uh, the garlic, right here. Actually, I put the whole one. You cut it in half and just put it inside in chicken stock. And you will have a chicken stock you don't have to buy. Chicken stock in store, you can make it yourself. You can buy chicken in TomTom um, -tom or which Kroger's. You can buy a chicken packed half with a bone in, which is boned out, and you have the bones. So that's all what it takes to make a nice chicken stock. So my chicken stock, after 45 minutes, is done. And I just want to tell you that I add more. I found some uh, fresh spices, herb inside in my refrigeration, like I have a cilantro, I have a sage, I have some, everything just to clean it up a little bit. I found some shallot, what I'm not using anymore. So the chicken stock is completely done. Um, you, Put it to the sieve and you can use it in any purpose. Basically, that is that one is meant for to be cooking. So that's all what takes to make a nice chicken stock. Hopefully you enjoyed the recipe and see you next time.